Right, so question five, we're asked to solve the simultaneous equation. And we can see that one of the equations is uh, linear and the other one is nonlinear because we've got this squared terms. Um, so what we're going to have to do is solve this via substitution. So generally we sub the line into the higher order function. And now in order to do that, I'm going to rewrite, well, let's call this equation one and call this equation two. I'm going to rewrite equation uh, one and I'm going to isolate the y. I'm going to work out what y is. So rearrange it so we get equation one is going to equal y equals 3x minus 2. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sub my new equation one into equation two. And we're going to get now, instead of y, I'm going to have 3x minus 2 to be squared minus x minus 6x squared is going to be equal to 0. So we're just going to do a little bit of algebra here. Expand out this bracket. When I expand this out, we're going to get 9x squared, 3x times negative 2, negative 6, double it, negative 12x and then negative 2 squared positive 4. We still have that minus x there and we still have the minus 6x squared. That's going to be equal to 0. Now what we're going to do is collect our like terms together. So 9x squared subtract that 6x squared. Going to give us 3x squared. Negative 12x take away that x. It's going to give us negative 13x in total. And then we're going to have these uh, this positive 4 at the end. That's going to be equal to 0. Uh, I can see a quadratic here. We're going to have to solve this. Um, now, I'm not sure whether we can solve this without using the quadratic formula, but we're going to try anyway. So, um, I'm going to try and solve this. So, whatever method you have to solve this, generally we factorize first. So, I'm going to write 3x squared there positive 4 here, still equal to 0. Um, 3 times 4 is 12, so numbers that multiply to the 12 but add to negative 13, minus 12, minus 1, perfect. So instead of writing this as, I'm going to write this part of the expression. Instead of writing it as negative 13x, I'm going to write it as negative 12x subtract another x. Then what we're going to do is we're going to factorize by grouping. So factor out what's common here. So what's common to this? 3x. And that's going to leave me with x minus 4. And then over here, well, I would like to end up with an x minus 4 as well. And the only way I'm going to get that, the only way I'm going to get that is if I was to factor out from this guy or these, this part of the expression, if I factor out negative 1. Factor out negative 1, and we're, we're on the road to glory here. So, what can I factor out of both of these expressions? I can factor out an x minus 4. And that's going to leave me with 3x minus 1. So we factorise that nicely. That's equal to 0, which means that x is equal to 4 or and solving this one 3x uh, minus 1 is going to equal 0 which means that x will equal 1 over 3 right nearly there now I know the value of x I'm going to want the value of y so when x equals 4 we're going to substitute it back in into the back into this guy here so substitute the value 4 in, 3 times 4, so y is going to equal 3 times the 4, subtract 2, which means y is going to equal, 3 times 4 is 12, 12 take away 2 is 10, or when x is 1 third, that means y is going to equal 3 times 1 over 3, Subtract that 2, which means that y is going to equal 3 times 1 third is 1, and 1 take away 2 is negative 1. 
Um, so there's the value of x and the corresponding values of y. Was I asked for any coordinates? I wasn't, but we could state them. Points of intersection are going to be 4, 10, and 1 over 3, negative 1. Right, so a quick look at the mark scheme. Um, if you want to have a read through it, you can do. Just pause the video, have a look. You can see there... Um, the correct answers, so when x is 4, and we got 4 and 1 third, and negative 1 and 10. So we're actually absolutely sorted out there. Um, so just some of the notes are there as well from the mark scheme. If you want to have a read through that, you just pause the video. But let's have a look at what the examiner said. Many candidates scored full marks, a uh, standard question on simultaneous equations, so it tends to come up quite a bit. Mistakes usually in signs or combining terms, so... Watch out for that. Don't be making those mistakes with your signs and your combining terms. It seems to be happening quite a bit. Um, and that, that loses accuracy marks. Um, exception was squaring this out to give this. So some people were taking an absolutely bizarre step to square this out to get that. And a few people who found the solutions for x failed to find the y value. So remember, simultaneous, you're going to need x's and y's.